Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thanks for tuning in. I did a survey over at the uh, YouTube community page. You can see the survey here. And I was asking about what kinds of videos you enjoy the most. Interestingly enough, the, the, the type that, that came up number one was fish profiles. If you go through my videos throughout you know, the, the, the years that I've been on YouTube, you'll find that fish profiles are not really the, the most watched videos. So I'm a little bit confused here. If you look at the, if, if, if you look at my fish profile uh, playlist here, you can see that that there are a couple on there that that have gotten a lot of views. So it's not it's not terrible. But compare that to like my top ten videos here, where you're starting to get up into the many hundreds of thousands of views. Uh, that that list is uh, definitely definitely more popular. So I'm not really sure. Uh, how to, you know, how to conclude or or read from this survey. I think my conclusion, my conclusion on this is that people who like uh, fish profile videos are more likely to participate in surveys that I do at the community page <laughs> than the general public because it does look like the general public is very interested in things like water changes and canister uh, filter maintenance and and you know tips five tips or ten tips uh, things like this that I was doing many many years ago let's expand it out into a discussion comment below let me know what you like to see the most from this channel and if you do want me to do uh, fish profiles of the fish that I have now what fish would you like to see a profile of is there, is there one in particular that you'd like to hear more about, whether it be about temperament, uh, where it comes from, the food it, it, uh, it prefers or needs, water parameters, that kind of thing? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to do a few, a few fish profile videos. In the meantime, I'm going to keep a close eye on this tank because it looks like the, uh, the red tear has become dominant over the red tiger oscar and the large vieja but the but the much smaller salvini is still chasing the red tear around so we haven't quite established the tank boss yet i kind of like the idea of the salvini being the tank boss because she'll chase and then ignore as opposed to let's say if the red tear becomes the, the uh, tank boss he'll probably like chase just chase endlessly so uh, needless to say, I'm going to keep a close eye on this and just make sure it doesn't go, go too wild. And if it does, I can, always, uh, I can always put that red tear, if I have to, into the 29 gallon that I have uh, ready as my plan B. So at any rate, thank you folks for watching. Comment below. And uh, that's it for me today. Hopefully I'll see you on Saturday at the Cichlids, Cichlids and Coffee live stream every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. Great group of fish keepers talk about everything from fish to food to filters and everything else for about an hour every Saturday. And if you'd like to support the channel, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell. Let's create some excitement so uh, YouTube will uh, share the channel with more viewers. And if you'd like to support further, consider becoming a Garage Gang member, a, uh, a Patreon supporter of the channel. Search for as little as $3 a month. Details are in the description below the uh, below the video now if you want my best tips on fish keeping check out this playlist up here if you'd like to subscribe as i like to say just hit me in the mug right there thank you my friends i'll see you again soon bye bye <laughs>